Hi, and welcome to Phone Nostalgia. In this video, we'll be taking a trip down memory lane with the Nokia 3310, one of the most iconic and popular devices with over 126 million sold worldwide. The 3310, which replaced the popular 3210, was announced on the 1st of September year 2000 and released later on that year. The same year as the Millennium Dome was opened, Sydney hosted the Olympics, and Wembley Stadium closed after 77 years. Songs such as Toka's Miracle, Oops I Did It Again, The Real Slim Shady, and Bound for the Reload were number one in the charts. When released, the 3310 had a retail price of around £130, which is around £200 in today's money based on an average inflation rate of 2.8%. The 3310 has an 84 by 84 pure pixel monochrome display. No fancy Super AMOLED or Retina display here. In my opinion, the best feature of the 3310 has to be the sheer durability of the handset, with no need for shockproof covers to protect it from impact. Unfortunately, I don't have the box which my 3310 came in, but the box contents was just as simple as the handset itself. Apart from obviously the handset, you got a battery, and a manual. That was it. No need for headphones or a memory card or anything else. Start up on the 3310 takes just a few seconds as I'll now show. The handset measures 113 by 48 by 22 mil and weighs 133 grams, just less than the D-size battery. The 3310 uses a 900 milliamp battery and the legendary Nokia 3 mil charger, an iconic partnership that we know will last almost a lifetime. Back in the day, when Nokia was king of the phone world and each manufacturer had their own operating system and didn't rely on Android, iOS or Windows, Nokia had an incredibly simple menu. No widgets or apps, just scroll through the menu and select the option which you want and press select. The handset also had shortcuts like modern phones which could be used to quickly access the contacts in your phone. You know, for when you actually used to make phone calls on your phone. Or, to select a profile quickly. With no QWERTY keyboard or fancy touchscreen, typing messages was done with multiple presses of the keys. You either loved or hated predictive text back in the day. Who remembers having to cut your text back to 160 characters or less so you didn't get charged for more than one message? And having to spell words like SOS, COS, school and of course link batteries together because you were trying to save time apart from the ringtone composer the 3310 had some of the most legendary ringtones the world has ever heard. Mosquito. Nokia tune. Mozart Symphony number 40. And my personal favourite, Kick. Screensavers on the handset could also be changed for different profiles. For example, I had this one for silent, but there were many others to choose from. Perhaps one of the main reasons for the 3310 being so greatly loved in the world is down to the games which were pre-installed. 
the world famous Snake 2, Space Impact, and Bantumi, and Pairs 2 were pre-installed. Another great feature of the 3310 was its changeable covers, giving you the freedom to personalise your phone without the added bulk of modern phone covers. My favourite feature of the 3310 has to be the sheer durability of the handset, something which modern phones just don't offer. And finally, to give the Nokia 3310 a phone nostalgia rating, well, of course, it has to be 10. One of the world's best loved handsets with such a simple interface, long lasting battery and durability. It's a phone we all know and love dearly. We're really excited to get our hands on the new 3310 as soon as it's available. And I will be doing a comparison video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with phone nostalgia. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and remember to hit subscribe to relive your phone history through us. Thanks for watching. Until next time.